Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me Old Hawk. I'm back in my Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous um, game. I'm... well, the last episode I recorded, I didn't record, which is... but I uh, can't do anything about that yet, now. Um, you didn't miss too much. We were just in the, uh, in this inn and talking to a lot of people. Some of them gave us small quests. Uh, some of them told us where to go for our quests. So, like the Quirm family secret, uh, we got, uh, money from Orgus and he, uh, hired us as bodyguard to go through his home. Um, yeah, this anything, the burning city. Um, we asked Staunton where to find the, the, this strange elf and he told us we could go to Blackwing Library and we also found um, a hint for Jenna Eldori. Um, let's see if we find her. Also, we found a innkeeper that sold us a bag of holding, which is really great because with this bag of holding, we have an inventory that weighs nearly nothing. Why does it weigh now something? Hello? There's a bag of holding. Ah, yeah, I know. We we went through um, through the inn and found out everything that we found. This is the reason why we have. Uh, also, we found this Lordship guy. This is a tiefling in the cellar of the inn, and he asked us to um, get him out of the cell, and this was fairly easy. We just went to the boss of the uh, paladins, of, of the guards, and she told me it's, uh, it's okay if we take him with us because she doesn't want to uh, spare some of these guys anyway to watch him. Okay, let's take him with us. Oh, I'm poor. Well, Chief, what do you got for me? Uh, yeah. And he talks to us, so he must be important. I talked to Irabeth, and I decided to make you part of my troop. We'll see how it goes. Ah, you must be a smooth talker. Come on, Delvin. Get these bracelets of yours off me. I'm going free. You're sure to regret this. This tiefling will fleece you for everything you've got. Mark my words. Okay. You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. You can't even be happy for me, can you? I pity you. I'll leave you alone with your sad little soul. So long. And now, Chief, straight down to business. <clears throat> you see, I'm one of those guys that people around here call thieflings. We just call <laughs> ourselves the family. After we knocked over that shop and I got stuck here in the Defender's Heart, a little bird told me that Big Sister Charisme wanted to see me. That she had some questions to ask me. You following? Yeah, of course. Now, she won't be asking me questions like, Wolgif, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, Wolgif, you're so thin, didn't they feed you? No, something serious has gone down and I just know they want to try to pin something on me. I can feel it in my tail. So I knew right away that I couldn't go alone. You turned up just in time, Chief. You don't need to do anything when we get there. Just stand behind me and look mean, and I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Somehow. Let's go. I'll, I'll show you the way. A few things hide out has been revealed. Okay. Good. We found some more places. Stone in the criminal underworld. Yeah, okay. So another small quest, and we've got this guy. 
and she's not here because inside here it's like with our capital in uh, in Kingdom Maker, uh, yeah, Kingdom Maker. Hey, pig, don't stand around here. Just follow me outside. Is this the same outside as if we would go, go outside ahead. from the other door? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, we're still alone. Area exit to the basement. Ah, I wonder if there is a camera status. We should talk to other people. So let's let's talk to the. How did what were the bloody paladins doing? I don't know really. Okay, so we don't have to talk to these guys. We just talk to people that have names. <laughs> Eagle Watch. Yeah, Eagle Watch. That's the. To the tavern. Ah, this is the exit Go on the other side out. So what's that? This place has been sanctified. It can protect the area around it. What? From the corruption of the abyss. Mm, sounds nice. To the tavern. Mm -hmm. I know the way. So this is the place where there are no... This is outside the real city. This is where the the ones got that got away. We probably uh, can take people with us when we go outside this place. Let's see. Yeah, I, I thought so. Well, we'll take the team with us. There is also Lan. We told him not to take him with us. Interesting. We can't get rid of him. Yeah. Better with him than without him. Yeah, we have to defend us. Ah, Blackwing Library, thief hideout. Market Square. Yeah, then let's go first to Market Square. But first, before we do this, let's just do this a level three paladin. What does she get there? Another feat, yeah. Everyone gets a feat. Armor of Curry. Sounds nice. Mercy. Hmm. What's a move? Divine health. Third level of paladin is immune to all diseases, including supernatural and magical diseases, including mummy rot. Interesting. Uh, what's a mercy? At third level and every three levels thereafter, a paladin can select one mercy. Each mercy adds an effect to the paladin's lay on hands ability. Ah. Whenever the paladin uses lay on hands to heal damage, One target, the target also receives the additional effects from all the mercies possessed by the paladin. Okay, so his lay on hands will be better then. Ah, uh, let's see, you don't have much stuff. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, uh, let's let's take knowledge world because I need to do this. I'm not sure if I can do this, but yeah, let's do persuasion because it's always good to have another one. No, it's dumb. I should have no religion. That's good. Uh, I mean, probably use magic device. Okay, weapon focus. What does she has already? She has a shield focus, dodge. What's this? This is her god. She has as a background pickpocket. Really? This is. She has a plus two for trickery and stealth. This is. She will not pickpocket. Yeah, let's take a weapon focus on the uh, long sword, just because it's okay. I think long swords will be will be here a So we can take a fatigued, taken, and sickened. Hmm. Let's take the fatigue. I think that's right. Quite nice. Mm hmm. And complete. So, how about you? Spirit hunt. She doesn't get anything now. So. Just more spells and leave. Yeah, let's let's give her one more trickery just because she's really good at it. And let's give her religion. That's good. Uh, weapon focus. Point blank shot. No, of course not. What does she have? Weapon finesse. If we give her the weapon focus on the rapier. Rapier? Is it? Or rapier? In English? I don't know. I already forgot again that we had to start the watch. Uh, yeah, let's do this. This sounds. Sounds reasonable. And we got a lot more spells now. Don't worry. Uh, spell book. Level 2, level 1. Another level 1 spell also protects. Why not? And we'll take the aid. This is just one person. Hmm. Resist energy would be quite good. This one can be put there. We can only pull the bull's friend there. Why? I mean, we could take the whole person or the bark skin. They are both quite good. Let's take the whole person. This is more of an offensive stuff. Uh, 
Okay, he's a Sen Archer. Let's keep him a Sen Archer. Yeah, we need someone who can do these as well. So this is quite good. And perception is also good. Uh, deadly aim. This is a power attack for for weapons. Point blank master. Really? For the longbow. complete he will be a damaged so now let's look at him what can he do? good team friend hmm you're fighting with daggers so you will be probably a plus oh, plus 14 on stealth plus 12 on victory Great stats, great stats. No honor among thieves. Okay. Um, so he's our thief. Eldritch Scoundrel. Cool. What's the Eldritch Scoundrel? It's a rogue. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, he even has some, some spells. That's interesting. A thief with spells. Interesting. Okay. Then let's move to the marketplace. Um. Where are we? What's this? We want to enter this location. Yes, we want to enter. Mm -hmm. I hope you can hear me because my um, headset is not playing music for me. But if I'm looking at uh, Video recording, you can hear my microphone at least. But you don't hear anything from the music. I really hate it. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Dead bodies. Can we loot them? There is a knowledge arcane of DC 13. Let's try this out. Who's our knowledge arcana guy? It's just not my lucky day. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course, you. Ah, we should look at. So we two are. Midi guys. Ah, uh, ranged guys. And you three, you four are melee guys. You are more supporting characters, so I think this is quite good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Don't show this again. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. What happened here? Some burned places. 
let's see. Big map, pocket square. Okay. Ah, oh, there what? is a too late wretch. My dear pig, you know what to do. Yeah, you know what to do. It is kill time. Really? Mm. have cold iron weapons, so this is okay. Uh, you don't have cold iron weapons, but yeah, who cares. So what's that? Point blank shot. That's the deadly... Let's try it out. Let's see if we are doing really deadly aim. Yep. Can you hide in the shadows? Self, click to try hide in the shadows. No, you can't. So how should we reduce to zero? Okay. P your worst. Okay, you missed. You did. Really? You hit Chief because he's such a stupid idiot and stands directly in front of you. Hmm. Hear anything again? You've crossed the wrong mongo. You can't hide right now. But he's still flat footed. Ooh. Nice. He didn't have anything. So let's take. What's this? Golden. Cities out and over and there is a road illusionist. Focus on the goal. Uh, uh, <laughs> Watch and learn. Pig attack. No. No reason to pause.
Let's see. Yeah, get ghosts. Mirror images. Let's try this way. Wait, did I hit Philomucus as well? Really, I I hit him as well. I'm really good. I'm really, really good. I'll cut you wide open. <laughs> Another marauder. Me, all right. Slow the part fast. No, then. And another mirror image gone. This will hurt. I hope so, but it didn't. Nick. Media, uh, kill this guy. Siva, kill the Rover. Take you. Mm -hmm. He's in a rage and he has now less than zero hit points. Yes, the pig is so good. It's terrible how good he is. Oh. And we hit uh, more. Oh, probably not. Ick. Kill. Oh. Nope, kill this you guy. Today's sacrifice. Nah, not really. Hey, why didn't you hit him? Because you missed. Okay. Okay, Tiefling. You will always get an attack of opportunity. Really? 12 hit points. Oh, you must be choking. Like, can you just kill the illusionist? I mean, he doesn't do any damage, so it's not really, really important to kill him. But on the other hand, If he's hitting something, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why I put the T thing on there. Inventory. Ah, uh, let's give him something. Like. 
drink the potion and then move to the illusionist and kill him with the Yep, and you did it. No! Ah, I didn't want to hit this guy. Probably weeks now. Yeah, of course. Wow. Go for their hearts. Okay. Dead. Oh, this was interesting. He fell over the over the wall. <laughs> yeah, let's take this. Um, get this here. What's this? Uh, copper ring. Let's take it. Is there anything other important? No. How about this side armor? No. You have acquired the scroll. Summon monster one. The character will shift and learn the spell to add it to their spell book. It will destroy the scroll. Yeah, someone on side don't use this. Hmm. Inventory you No. This, um, okay. There's a pig. I like this place. Is there some entrance here? No. Though there is a pig, we can't enter it. Okay, there's an exit. Okay, we just went. South now. We could be out here. Ember, Crusader, Crusader, Crusader. Into the house. Okay. We'll make this quick. She won't feel a thing. Okay. I don't know. Can we really do this? No, you can't. Yes, here we are. We don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? A group of knights surrounds a young elven girl. Dressed in rags that barely cover the hideous scars on her body. The beggar girl is on her knees, watching placidly as the people argue hatedly around her. It is as if she doesn't sense the looming threat at all. A black crow flies in agitated circles above her head. In Iomade's name, we're sorry, girl, but it is our duty. We have to do this, not for our own sake, but for mm -hmm. the sake of everyone who can still be saved from the demons. If we don't win this battle, you won't have long to live anyway. Okay. The knight brings his sword up above the girl's head. They're insane! We've got to do something! Mm hmm. I understand. You're scared. You feel powerless. You think this will help. You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. 
Okay. Murderers, get your hands off her. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Behind it. Come on, cut your throat in the name of your media. Yeah. Okay. Do not interfere. Yeah, what's going on here? Okay. We. Our weapons barely scratch the demon's hides. We're sacrificing this girl to Iomade so we can consecrate our weapons with her innocent blood and gain the power to destroy the spawn of the abyss. This seems kind of stupid to me. <laughs> it's extreme, but we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow or else we'll all perish, including her. Okay, um, do we have a law religion? Plus eight. Mm, that's that's a risk. That's ridiculous. This of I mean, the directly prohibit the killing of innocents. The goddess will curse you for making the so-called sacrifice or diplomacy. Plus six. Who told you to do this? Sounds like or intimidate. Him. Sheath your weapons and step away from her. Or else. Evil, excellent idea. Sacrifice her. That will definitely help. <laughs> Say nothing. Okay. 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 It's more or less the same. Whatever we take. Um. There, we have always a plus. Ah, oh, no. There is a plus. Eight. So we have here. We need to roll an eight. Here we will have to roll a nine, and here we will have to roll an eight. So we can take. Exactly. What were you thinking? The goddess would never allow this. Mm -hmm. Whose idea was this anyway? I think it was yours. My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Who said we needed to make a sacrifice? Wasn't it you? You can't blame anyone else for that. Okay. Please don't fight. All of you are good people. Defenders of the city. You just made a mistake. Please don't hurt them. The little girl is defending the people who wanted to slaughter her a minute ago. She's either a saint or she's insane. Yeah, probably the Maybe second. Together. Hey, I know her. I see her all the time on the street. She's a couple of cards short of a full deck, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so she's insane. Hi. Remember when we used to play together when we were little? But then you went and got all big, and I stayed the same for some reason. Hmm. Yeah. Stupid. Elves don't each. <laughs> I played with you? <laughs> Pull the other one. You did. We played tag and hide and seek. Then you and the bigger boys came up with the game where you all threw stones at me. You laughed so hard. It made me happy too. But then you grew up and went away to do grown-up things. Want to play with me now? Okay, she's Canobras. really stupid. Canabras is too damn small. Go to the Defender's Heart Tavern. That's where the survivors are gathering. And don't even think of anything so disgusting ever again. Oh, instigator must be punished. The rest of you. Go to the Defender's Heart Tavern, that's where... Yeah, okay. Thank you. They're gone. And they all lived. I was sure that someone would die today. So many people have died here already. But we are still alive for some reason. Strange, isn't it? Okay. I heard of her from my... From some, some friends. They like her. Although she seems a bit cuckoo. <laughs> but you shouldn't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a silly girl, really. Yeah, who are you? Call me Ember. I live here, on the streets. For many years now. But there's nothing to say about me. Okay, she's a crow. I don't think you're an ordinary girl. And the crow you have here, there, it's not ordinary either. No, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Well, I know different types of tricks, but Soot taught me those. 
Okay. Now, Soot here? She truly is unusual. She's clever and she can talk, but only to me. She teaches me magic She's an animal companion as my pig. I don't know what I'd do without her. Magic tricks, you say? You could prove useful when fighting the demons, and I'll be able to protect you from insane soldiers on the street. Come with me. I must have misheard. This girl? Join our party? <laughs> what could we possibly want with this dirty little beggar? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Yay, now we have full deck. Okay, let's look at her. I like you. Inventory. Uh, she also has a crossbow, of course. Why not? Um, and what is she? She's like a witch, probably. A stigmatized witch. Whatever stigmatized witches are. Some witches think of their magic not as a gift, but as a curse. Her body is tarnished with a mark of her ill fate. Maybe the patron of such a witch ruled and decided that power mustn't come cheap. Or maybe they mercifully helped the witch to turn the adversities that befell her into a source of new Stigmatized witch relies on intuition. Her magic is based not on the sharpness of the wit, but on the strength of her character. Instead of the regular powers granted by a patron, such a witch gets a curse like an oracle and she casts her spells spontaneously like a sorcerer rather than a wizard. So she's kind of a mixture of everything. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Vulnerability curse. And she gets axes and stuff. Blacken. The hand and forearms are shriveled and blackened. Okay. And she has a crowd too. But the crowd doesn't fight. Yeah, okay. Sounds nice. Okay, now let's stop for today and we'll move on later on. See you soon. Bye.